Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Habari asabui, Buana asafiwi, Mungu akubariki. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you to all of you. Mungu abariki enyi nyote. For me has been a great experience. Kwangu mimi limekuwa ni ni fursa ya kipekee. A great joy. Na pia furaha ya kipekee to be part of this celebration. Kuwa sehemu ya sherehe hiyo. It has been a prophecy a dream that come that came to pass imekuwa kama unabii ambao umetimia na pia ndoto iliyotimia because i remember kwa sababu nakumbuka about 7 years ago kama miaka 7 iliyopita i was preaching in a church nilikuwa nikihubiri katika kanisa fulani i was prophesying to that church na nikitoa unabii kwa ile kanisa and in the midst of the prophecy na katikati ya unabii huo the Lord spoke to me. Bwana akanena nami. I will take you to Africa. Akaniambia nitakupeleka Afrika. And what I did used to believe. Na kila ambacho nilichofanya mimi ni kuamini. I'm here I am with you. Na sasa niko hapa nami. Blessing the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Thanks to him. Asante bwana. Because he is worthy to receive all the glory and the honor. Kwa sababu anastahili heshima na utukufu wote. Okay. Now we I will ask you to open your Bible. Basi nitakuomba ufungue Biblia yako and turn to John chapter 15 verse 8. Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 15 mstari wa 8. John chapter 15 verse 8. Yohana sura ya 15 mstari wa 8. We read the Bible in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciple. Kwa hiyo, baba yangu hutukuzwa kwa vile mnavyo mat mzaavyo matunda mengi nanyi mtakuwa wanafunzi wangu i want you to say to your neighbor much fruit ningependa mgeukie jirani yako mwambie mzaavyo matunda mengi much fruit matunda mengi much fruit matunda mengi amen glory to god heavenly father baba ulie mbinguni thank you asante for giving me the honor kwa kunipa heshima hii to use your mighty word. I ask you, Lord, to give me the revelation, the boldness, and the anointing of your Holy Spirit. And also ask you, Lord, to open our minds to enlighten our understanding. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I will be speaking on the topic Kichwa cha somoletu Climbing up the stairway of fruitfulness Kupanda juu ile ngazi ya kuzaa matunda Climbing up the stairway of fruitfulness Kupanda juu ile ngazi ya kuzaa matunda mema Say the, the title to your neighbor Ebu Mweleze jirani yako kuhusu somo hilo. Mwambie somo la leo ni climbing up the stairway of fruitfulness. Kupanda juu ngazi ya kuzaa matunda mema. God is a God of principles. Mungu ni Mungu wa maadili. When God created the man, Mungu ambaye ni Mungu wa kanuni alipomuumba mwanadamu 
As he said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Alivosema katika mwanzo sura ya kwanza mstari wa 26. That he create man according to his image. Ya kuwa alimuumba mwanadamu kulingana na sura yake mwenyewe. And according to his likeness. Na mfano wake mwenyewe. And in verse 28 from chapter 1. Na mstari wa 28 sura hiyo hiyo ya kwanza. After the creation of man. Baada ya kuumba kwa mwanadamu. God gave them a commandment a an order mungu akawapa amri yani akawamrisha and the first order na amri ya kwanza he gave to them aliwapa hao was be fruitful aliwambia zaeni be fruitful zaeni matunda so when God created the man, Kwa hivyo mungu madamu, he put inside the man ndani ya mwanadamu aliweka, the seed of fruitfulness. Mbegu ya kuzaa matunda. As I said before, awali, that God is a God of principle. Ya kuwa mungu ni mungu wa kanuni. And a principle Na kanuni, is a basic truth. Is a basic through a basic law ni amri ya msingi and the a principle na pia kanuni is something ni kitu ambacho that is consistently ni kitu ambacho kinaendelea repeated kina rudiwa tena no matter the atmosphere haijalishi hali ya anga ni vipi or place haijalishi ni wapi for which the principle shall be applied ni kanuni ni, ni wapi kanuni hiyo inafaa kutumika haijalishi so what god said yesterday kile ambacho mungu alikisema jana is bali for today ni cha leo pia and for tomorrow na pia ni cha kesho amen amina so, kwa hivyo, we are all to call na pia sisi tumeitua, to be fruitful. To zae matunda. Because if God says so, kwa sababu mungu wakisema hivyo, is because ni kwa sababu, he put already tayari ameweka ndani yetu, in your inner being ndani yetu, the seed ile mbegu, of fruitfulness. Mbegu ya kuzaa. Amen. Amina. I'm going to explain you. Nitawelezea zaidi. A professor, ah, mwalimu wa chokiku, is a story about a professor. Kuna, kuna hadithi kusu professor ma mkufunzi wa chokiku. He was teaching in a university. Alikuwa akifunza katika chokiku. And he took a seed of mango. Na akachukua mbegu ya ya embe, ama maembe. And he asked all the students that were in his classroom. Na akawauliza swali wanafunzi wale ukua ya rasani kwake. Imagine that this is the seed of mango. Akasema tafakari kuwa hii ni mbegu ya embe. And he asked to them. Na akawauliza tena. What do you see? Nyinyi muona nini? What do you see? Nyinyi muona nini? Most of them agree. Wengi wao walikubaliana naye. It's a seed of mango. Ya kuwa hiyo ni mbegu ya embe. But one of the students. Lakini mmoja wapo wanafunzi. Surprised him. Akamshangaza sana mkufunzi. We are reply. Kwa jibu lake lile. We an answer. Na jibu lake. And the student said. Huyo mwanafunzi jibu lake lilikuwa. That's a forest. Akasema huo ni msitu. And he said how come. Akasema inawezeka naje. You said that is a forest. Kwa nini utasema kuwa huu ni msitu. Because it's just a, only a seed of mango. Kwa sababu hii ni mbegu tu ya embe. And the student said. Mwanafunzi akasema. This seed of mango, mbegu ya embe, if you bury it, ukizika, if you sow it, ukipanda, it will give you a mango tree, mti wa em, and that mango tree na huo, will be more mangoes, uta, uta zama embe and zaidi, those mangoes na maembe hayo, will be more trees, yatakuwa miti mingi, and then will make a forest. Na tutaweza kuwa na msitu. And the seed na mbegu, that God has put in you mungu is yako, to bring a forest kwe, kwe of blessing. It's to be a forest msitu, of ideas, wa mawazo, of creativity. Wa uweza. Because Kwa sababu, God 
call you Mungu amekuita to be fruitful wewe uweze kuzaa if you if he say be fruitful akisema zaeni if because you can be fruitful ni kwa sababu unaweza kuzaa shitara mama shota rala kabasha ya hallelujah thank you lord thank you holy spirit hallelujah 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 the lord is good mungu ni mwema so kwa hivyo i will explain you about the fruitfulness nitawaelezea kuhusu kuzaa kuzaa matunda in international inter- enterprises katika makampuni ya kimataifa or multi international enterprises makampuni ambayo yanapatikana mataifa mbalimbali like uh, coca cola kama kampuni ya coca cola pepsi kampuni ya pepsi or other enterprises that you may know that is a uh, name or uh, known internationally ama makampuni ambayo unaweza kuyafahamu ya kimataifa they have in in the internal Yeah, I mean in the operational uh, uh, procedure katika kazi zao za kila siku makampuni hayo something that they call in America they call it like this SOP kuna kitu ambacho wanakiita SOP yani um, kazi ya kila siku mienendo ya kazi ya kila siku and SOP it stand for a standard uh, a standard operation procedure standard mm. operating procedures na SOP maana yake ni utendaji wa kila siku wa kazi kazi inavyofaa kwenda and it means na inamaanisha that if somebody is working in one of those company ya kuwa kama kuna mtu ambaye ni mwajiriwa katika kampuni hizo they have a procedure wana kanuni ama or, mienendo ya kazi or procedures mchakato um, wa kazi written procedure ambao umeandikwa chini so that everybody that is coming into that company ili kila mwajiriwa kila mfanyakazi wa kampuni hiyo may know how to to proceed how to work on on uh, according to the policy aweze kujua uh, mfuatilio wa kazi katika kampuni hiyo na pia kanuni za kampuni it doesn't matter that one that has been working for a long time leave the company haijalishi hata kama ni mwajiri wa muda mrefu akiondoka katika kampuni hiyo the procedure will keep the same bado mchakato wa kazi ni ule ule because they are ruled by the procedure kwa sababu wanaongozwa na maadili haya ya kazi what i'm trying to explain you kitu ambacho ningependa kuelezea about principle ni kanuni it doesn't matter that it was said in the past to abraham ni haijalishi kanuni hiyo ilikuwa Ibrahimu siku zilizopita to na Isaac na ikaja kwa Isaka to Jacob ikaja kwa Yakobo to the prophets na kwa ma, kwa, ma, kwa manabii if if it work on them kama ilifanya kazi kwao it be working on you pia itafanya well. kazi kwako haleluya amen and jesus na yesu haleluya in chapter 15 katika sura ya 15 is talking to his disciple kitabu cha yohana anaongea na wafuasi wake is giving them a parable anawapatia mfano huu and he is telling to them na nawaambia that there has been many binds in the past pamekuwa na misabubu mingi siku za nyuma that may fail ambayo labda imenyauka that may not be fruitful labda haijaza but he is the true bind lakini Yesu Kristo ndio mzabibu wa kweli and you are attached na wewe umeunganishwa naye to a true bind umeunganishwa naye mzabibu wa kweli and if you abide in him na wewe ukikaa ndani yake he will bear fruit basi lazima uzae matunda amen amina so kwa hivyo from verse 1 and verse 2 katika mstari wa kwanza na wa pili he said that that if you abide in him you will bear fruit anasema kuwa yeye ndo mzabibu wa kweli na ukiunganishwa na yeye utazaa matunda and then after a clean a cleaning process or pruning process na baada ya mchakato wa kusafisha jani ama tawi you will be bear more fruit utazaa matunda zaidi but in verse 8 lakini mstari wa 8 he said yesu anasema that is good that you bear fruit ni vyema kuzaa matunda 
or more fruit na matunda mengi but the father lakini baba is glorified hutukuzwa is assaulted baba anainuliwa when you bear much say much unapozaa matunda zaidi sema zaidi fruit matunda zaidi hallelujah so uh, I would like you to turn with me Ningependa pia ufungue pamoja nami to Second Peter Kitabu cha pili cha Petro verse chapter 1 from verse uh, 5 to 9 Petro wa pili sura ya kwanza mstari wa 5 hadi wa 9 Remember that the name of the topic is climbing up a stairway of fruitfulness Kumbuka kichwa cha somo la leo ni kupanda ile ngazi ya kuzaa matunda mema Second Peter Petro pili chapter 1 sura ya kwanza verse 5 mstari wa 5 to 9 hadi wa 9 we going to talk uh, to talk about it very slowly so that you may understand tutaongelea andiko hili pole pole ili tuweze kuelewa Before reading Second Peter, kabla tusome Petro wa pili, I would like to mention ningependa kutaja mambo fulani that God wherever God is involved, ya kuwa popote pale Mungu anapohusishwa, there are always results. Lazima pawe na matokeo. There are always productivity. Lazima pawe na kuzaa. So if God is involved in your life, if he's truly involved in you, kama kweli yeye anahusishwa na wewe, if you have if you ask get him to be, to abide in him and his word, kama wewe utakaa ndani yake na katika neno lake, so you will be a productivity a, a, somebody that will be producing all the time. Utakuwa mtu ambaye anazaa kila wakati. Amen. Amina. Okay. Peter said, Petro imeandikwa, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, making all effort, I'm kwa sababu hii, jitahidini sana add to your faith katika imani yenu kuongeza. So, Peter start the this the climbing up of the stairway kwa hivyo petro anaanza kuelezea ule mchakato wa kuipanda ngazi hii with faith unaanza na imani faith imani is the realm imani ni kama ulimwengu is the place and another word imani ni sehemu katika ulimwengu mwingine where you see god moves ambapo wewe unaona mungu aki akisongea supernaturally a Mungu akikuhudumia kwa njia hisia ya kawaida so faith kwa hivyo imani is the root of christian life imani ndio mzizi wa maisha ya kikristo so you have read read in hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 umesoma katika waebrania 11 mstari wa kwanza about the necessity of faith kuhusu umuhimu wa imani and also in verse 6 it says na pia mstari wa 6 tunasema that without it ya kuwa bila imani that without faith bila imani you cannot please that god uwezi kumpendeza mungu because when you draw near to god kwa sababu unapomsongelea mungu karibu you must believe lazima uamini that he is it ya kuwa mungu yupo so to get into the fruitful net stairway kwa hivyo ili uweze kuingia uanze kupanda ngazi hii ya kuzaa matunda the first step you need to do is by faith hatua ya kwanza ni imani and you know the word of god say na unafahamu neno la mungu linavyosema that is not by sight ya kuwa atueneni is not by what you see kwa kila ambacho unakiona is not by your senses si kupitia hisia zako is by faith ni kwa imani by faith you ni receive kwa imani unapokea by faith you obtain ni victory ni kwa imani unaweza kupata ushindi all the promises of god ni kwa imani unaweza kupata ahadi zote za mungu so the first thing you mo the first step kwa hivyo jambo la kwanza hatua ya kwanza step lazima kanyage ile ngazi ya is faith ngazi ya imani that's where you will start pale ndipo unapoanza faith imani but it's okay lakini pia ni sawa you are a man or a woman of faith wewe ni mwanamume na mwanamke wa imani sawa 
but he continues saying lakini bado anaendelea kusema you are already starting umeanza tu climbing the U, stairway umeanza tu kupanda ngazi but you can no stay in the faith realm lakini uweze kubakia ile sehemu ya imani tu you have to make the faith to produce something lazima uwezeshe imani izae kitu and then he continue na anaendelea to add to the faith ili uongezee juu ya imani build you build you wema utu wema and build you is is a, is a synonym of power na utu wema unalinganishwa na nguvu when jesus was going to Jairo's place. Yes, alipokuwa akienda akienda katika nyumba ya Jairo. The story of the woman of the issue of blood. Unajua ile hadithi ya mwanamke yule aliyekuwa akivuja damu. She touched Jesus. Aligusa vazi la Yesu. And he said who has touched me? Na Yesu akasema nani amenigusa? And Peter could not realize, could not understand the question of Jesus. Na Petro hakuelewa swali hili la Yesu. So So he said somebody had touched me. Akasema Yesu kuwa mtu amenigusa. Because virtue. Kwa sababu wema was taken. Wema mangu. Somebody received the virtue. Mtu alipokea wema. Wema wangu ama nguvu yangu. You have already stepped on faith. Kwa hivyo tayari umekanyaga ngazi ya imani. But so that, that that faith may produce. Lakini ili imani hiyo iweze kuzaa, you need to add act power. Lazima uongeze nguvu dynamite nguvu dynamite nguvu so he is telling you kwa hivyo anakuambia it's good that you have faith ni vyema una imani but add to that faith lakini kuongeza kwa imani power of the holy ghost ongeza nguvu ya roho mtakatifu power to stay to thin nguvu pass nguvu ya kuweza kuchukua vitu vyako not to be threatened usitishwe not to have fear usiwe na hofu to believe uamini faithfully uamini Mungu na uamini Mungu kabisa because faith kwa sababu imani without work bila matendo is is not good i see jambo jema hallelujah amen so we are climbing kwa hivyo tunapanda ngazi we are ready to step on faith tayari ngazi ya imani we are a man and a woman of power na sisi sasa ni mtu wa nguvu mtu wa wema progressing in the climbing tunaendelea katika kupanda ngazi but he said pia anasema to that faith kwa imani hiyo to that power of virtue katika wema huo ama nguvu hiyo you need to add lazima uongeze pia you need to make effort lazima ujitahidi to at knowledge uongeze maarifa knowledge maarifa because many people kwa sababu watu wengi had faith wana, walikuwa na imani they have power wana nguvu ama wema but they think lakini wanadhani that they don't need the knowledge ya kuwa hawahitaji maarifa that's why they cannot go on na ndio maana hawezi kusonga mbele because there's a time that when faith and power kwa sababu kuna muda ambapo nguvu na imani if they are not right or properly based on god knowledge kama haijakitwa katika maarifa ambayo ni mema they go away basi inapotea because there is no root kwa sababu msingi haupo of the knowledge msingi wa maarifa that is coming from god maarifa yatokayo kwa mungu hosea chapter 4 verse 6 hosea 4:6 said inasema my people watu wangu are destroyed wanaangamia for lack of knowledge kwa kukosa maarifa because kwa sababu you have rejected kwa sababu mmekataa the knowledge mmekataa maarifa you need faith unahitaji imani you need power unahitaji wema you need knowledge unahitaji maarifa to continue ili uweze kwenda mbele kusonga mbele na kukua hallelujah amen so the bible said kwa hivyo biblia inasema that we need to add lazima pia tuongeze to all of this kwa haya yote self control roho ya kiasi because maybe you are or you are a man or a woman of faith or power and knowledge kwa sababu inawezekana unaweza kuwa mtu wa maarifa mtu wa imani mtu wa wema but when it comes to life circumstances and situation or problem lakini ikifikia shida matatizo ya ulimwengu ya maisha and if you don't have the self control na kama wewe huna kiasi to have control on on your on your emotions ili ushikilie usukani katika mambo yako hisia zako you may waste 
Unaweza kuachilia vitu vyote vika All the faith Unaweza kupoteza imani all the power Unaweza kupoteza wema of the knowledge Unaweza kupoteza maarifa that God's giving to you Ambao Mungu amekupatia wewe because when this situation are coming kwa sababu hali hizi zinapokuja when you are facing any kind of situation in your life kama una kama unakumbana na hali yote mashani mwako so you need to continue having self control unahitaji kuwa na kiasi to have control kiasi over any kind of situation ushike usukani katika hali yako because things kwa sababu mambo cannot rule you hayawezi kutawala wewe you are lazima wewe created umeumbwa to rule utawale things mambo to take dominion uweze kuyatisha to take authority uweze kuchukua mamlaka so when you see when you see kwa hivyo unapoona that in any kind of situation katika hali yoyote ile you are failing unashindwa you need to ask god lazima muulize mungu give me self control mungu nipatie kiasi give me self control nipatie kiasi amen amina so we continue walking climbing up kwa hivyo tunaendelea kupanda ngazi ngazi ya imani virtue ngazi ya wema knowledge ngazi ya maarifa and self control na ngazi ya kiasi and the apostle continue saying na mtume anaendelea perseverance saburi there are things kuna mambo there are already pro- proclaim ambao tayari yametangazwa they are already decreed ambao tayari yameshatangazwa they are already declared tayari yametangazwa but many people lakini watu wengi le- cannot see to come past those things hawaizi kuyashikilia mambo hayo because they lack of perseverance kwa sababu hawana saburi they lack of patience hawana saburi there are things kuna mambo they are already declared by god ambao tayari mungu ameshaahidi that you will receive it kwa wewe utapokea but you need to have be perseverance lakini lazima uwe na saburi you need to be perseverance lazima uwe na saburi and you don't have to listen to the voice of the devil na usisikie sauti ya mwovu ibilisi be perseverance uwe na saburi and you will receive na utapokea in god's time katika muda mwafa kwa mungu haleluya amen glory to god bwana sifiwe so perseverance kwa hivyo saburi is a steady persistence saburi ni kuenenda bila kusitasita in a course of an action katika tukio fulani in a course of a purpose katika safari la kusudi fulani in a course of a state katika uh, hisia ama katika mazingira fulani in spite of difficulties haijalishi zile shida obstacles haijalishi vizuizi or discouragement ama kukatishwa tamaa but we hope lakini ukiwa na tumaini for what we don't see ya kile ambacho hatuwezi kukiona we eagerly sisi kwa shauku for it tunasubiri we perseverance tunakuwa na saburi amen amina so the apostle continue kwa hivyo mtume akaendelea and say na akasema continue climbing endelea kupanda ngazi and to the faith ngazi ya imani virtue ngazi ya wema knowledge ngazi ya maarifa self control ngazi ya kiasi perseverance ngazi ya saburi now you need to add sasa lazima uongeze godliness utaua and godliness na utaua is the whole practice of piety utaua piety or the whole part of the veneration to god utaua ni kuwa msafi ama kutembea katika utakatifu mbele za Mungu mbele za Mungu is dependence of god ni kumtegemea Mungu is submission to god ni kujitoa kwa Mungu is gratitude to god ni shukrani kwa Mungu and is obedience na pia ni kuti obedience kuti glory to god utukufu kwa Mungu glory to the lord so we need to be encouraged lazima tutue moyo to be climbing up kupanda ngazi juu not to dismay tusikatishwe tamaa and have godliness na tuwe na utaua in our life katika maisha yetu but the apostle continue lakini mtume pia akaendelea he said to the godliness akasema juu ya utaua you need to add lazima uongeze brotherly kindness upendano wa kindugu 
this is a Greek word. Jambo hili ni jambo kuu sana. The in Greek is Philadelphia. Katika kiyonani linaitwa Philadelphia. And it's a combine of two words. Na Philadelphia ni maneno mawili yaliunganishwa. Of the word filio, neno hili filio, which means love. Ambalo na manisha upendo. And the and the word Adelpho, na neno hilo lengine, that means brother. Lina manisha ndugu, brother, ndugu. So, kwa hivyo, if you have faith, kama una imani, virtue, una wema, knowledge, una marifa, self control, una kiasi, perseverance, una saburi, godliness, una utaua. But you cannot manifest Lakini, all, who, all of that to the brother, to your neighbor that is next to you. Kwa yule yako amba, yako, even though you say that you have it, ingajo, nasema, kuwa, unavyo, you need to check yourself. Una, lazima, because that's the way kwa sabu, hiyo njia, that we can manifest. That when these things are being show manifested mambo into haya, other mambo haya yanaponekana ama tunapoonyeshwa kwa wengine for our side upande wetu hallelujah amen that's why apostle said na ndio maana mtume akasema that you need to add brotherly la, lazima tuwe kindness. na upendo wa kindugu hallelujah and then he continue anaendelea that to the brotherly kindness katika upendo wa kindugu you need to at love lazima uongeze upendo because love is the climax of all kwa of everything upendo is the, is the upendo ndio mavuli wa yote hallelujah amen so i would like you to turn with me to verse 8 ningependa uende nami hadi mstari wa 8 of chapter 2 from Peter, uh, uh, from second peter chapter 1 verse 1 ber, now verse 9 um uh, Petro wa pili sura ya kwanza mstari wa 8 na wa 9 Second Peter chapter 1 verse 9 Mstari wa 9 Petro wa pili sura ya kwanza For as these qualities are yours Kwa kuwa kama sifa hizi ni za kwako ni sehemu yako for at this quality are yours kwa maana haya ya kuwa ya kwenu and increasingly abound in you nayo yakizidi kuongezeka they cannot only be in you hayatabaki ndani yako tu it's good when you have all of these things ni vyema ukiwa na mambo haya yote kwako all of all of these abel, abel, uh, abilities ma ujuzi huu wote ukiwa nao or virtues ama wema ukiwa nao we need to have all of them tunahitaji kuwa na sifa zote hizi but we can no stay in, in that lakini hatuwezi kubakia katika hatua hiyo that's why i'm talking about a stairway na ndio maana naongelea kuhusu ngazi that is said ambayo inasema that we need to have it abundantly increasingly in our life lazima mambo haya yazidi kuongezeka katika maisha yetu and if we have all of them na tukiwa na haya yote ab abundantly ya, yakiwa mengi yakizidi ndani yetu in us ndani yetu they will keep us yanawafanya from being idle tusiwe watu wa kuwa mahali ile mahali pale pale tu or unfruitful ama watu wasioza unto the full person and knowledge of our lord jesus christ lakini tunafanyika watu wenye bidii na wenye kuzaa matunda katika kumjua bwana wetu yesu kristo i will read in another version atasoma mchungaji katika tafsiri nyingine for these things are yours mambo haya ni ya kwenu and abound na yanajaa kwenu you will be neither barren basi nyinyi hamtakuwa tasa or unfruitful ama ham, hamtakuwa wasioweza kuzaa in the knowledge of the lord jesus katika kumjua bwana wetu yesu kristo so if we are not barren or unfruitful so we are kwa hivyo kama sisi si tasa so if we if you and me are not barren kama wewe na mimi si tasa or unproductive ama si kwa watu hawezi kuzaa we are basi sisi ni fruitful wanaweza kuzaa tell your neighbor i'm fruitful mwambie jirani yako mimi ni mtu anaweza kuzaa because i have the dna kwa sababu nimepewa jina 
of God. Jina la Mungu. I have the seed of God nina, of fruitfulness nina, in my life. Nina mbegu ya Mungu ya kuzaa maishani mwangu. So you are fruitful. Kwa hivyo wewe unaweza kuzaa. You are prosper. Unaweza kufanikiwa. You are prosper. Unafanikiwa. No matter from no matter from where you are coming from. Haijalishi umetokea wapi. Since you came to Jesus. Ulipomjia Yesu. You are already called and you are fruitful. Tayari wewe umeitwa na utaweza kuzaa. By the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. But the apostle continue and he warned. Lakini mtume akaendelea in verse zaidi 9 mstari wa 9. For he who lacked did things is short-sighted. For he who lacks the things is short-sighted. Na kwa kuwa mtu asiyekuwa na mambo haya haoni mbali. The word short-sighted neno hili haoni mbali au kipofu is a Myope is myopia I have myopia you know cannot see from far Ni mtu ambaye haezi kuona mbali There are many people Ni kuna watu wengi that in their life ambao maisha ni mwao they cannot show the fruitfulness of God Hawaezi kuonesha matunda ya Mungu And when you have a vision na kama una maono because they are short sighted na lakini kwa sababu hawaoni mbali They cannot see Hawaezi kuona Why you a visionary wewe ambaye ni mbeba maono seen from the afar ambao unaona kwa mbali because you are kwa sababu wewe operating unatenda kazi on the spirit katika roho za fruitfulness roho ya kuzaa of greatness roho ya ukuu of productivity roho ya kuzaa God ya Mungu that's why you could not take heed of here na ndio maana hukuweza kusikia the people who are always complaining wasikilizi watu ambao kila siku be careful wanalalamika they are too sighted kuwa makini watu they cannot see watu hao ni vipofu what God is showing you hawezi kuona kila ambacho Mungu they are not operating on faith hawatendi kazi kwa imani they cannot see hawana mbegu they cannot see the promised land hawezi kuona nchi ya ahadi because they are Short sighted. Kwa sababu hawaoni mbali. And the short sightedness kutokuona mbali huko has grown so in their life. Umekuwa sana katika maisha yao. They, they are already blind. Hadi pale wamefanyika vipofu. And they are stripping over the wanajikonga kila mahali. Because kwa sababu they have forgotten. Wamesahau who cleans. Ni nani anasafisha maisha yao? Who gave? Ni nani anaongoza maisha yao? In the cavalry. Na ushindi wao the king of king. The king of kings. Mfalme wa falme. The Lord of Lords. Bwana mabwana. Jesus of Nazareth. Yesu wa Nazareth. Give him mighty clap. Pigia Yesu makofi. Mpigie Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to cultivate. Lazima simultaneously. Tufuge na pia tuweze kupalilia all the virtues. All of these virtues. Sifa zote hizi tuzipalilie because the father. Kwa sababu baba glorify anatukuzwa is glorify yeye utukuzwa no when you have one of this unajua kama una moja no when you have two of this kama una mawili jesus said yesu anasema the father baba is glorify anatukuzwa when you have unapokuwa when you bear unapozaa much matunda abundant mengi increasing yakizidi give me another word nipatie neno lingine When you are bound, wewe unapozidi good things. Mambo mema. The father ambayo baba is glorified. Anatukuzwa nayo. I'm gonna give you an example. Nitakupatia mfano. How many of you have children? Ni wangapi hapa una watoto? Inua mkono kama una watoto. I'm gonna give you an example. Nitakupatia mfano of this word of Jesus. The father is glorified. Yaani neno hili la Yesu ya kuwa baba anatukuzwa. Who from you love to hear that your children your son or daughter are the most obedient in the community Ni nani angependa kusikia kuwa binti yako ama mtoto wako kiume ni mtiifu katika jamii Who of you are proud to hear that your children are the most intelligent Ni nani angependa kusikia kuwa watoto wako ni wenye akili sana unajivunia 
you know why you are proud why you are honored because they represent what they are receiving from their source if you are receiving from the good source of God, you should honor him by manifesting his nature. When you are not manifesting his nature, instead of honoring him, you dishonor him. So the, the father, as you are honor privilege, to listen, to hear, to see that your children are getting well, they are getting, you know, they are growing in, in knowledge, they are obedient, they are professional, and so on. So the Father, Jesus said, is glorified. You know, the Father invites and said to all the angels see how me my daughter is manifesting my DNA is manifesting my true nature Uzima wangu wa ukweli. so I'm glad I'm happy Nafurai. Because Masababu, she has taken ameshika, and she is producing na the seed that I gave to her of fruitfulness. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa mungu. So, the Father is glorified. Kwa hivyo, Baba utukuzwa. The Father is glorified with its wind ministry. Baba utukuzwa na huduma because its wind ministry. Kwa sababu its wind ministry is operating. Inatenda kazi under the principle. Katika kanuni under the spirit. Katika roho of fruitfulness. Na kuzaa. And fruitfulness. Na kuzaa the fair things. Jambo la kwanza that brings ambayo naleta is breakthrough. Ni upenyo. Because when you bury it, kwa sababu ulipo a seed, ulipo panda mbegu. The seed, ile mbegu to bring forth something greater that it was inside of it. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You are fruitful. Because you have the nature of God. If the, God, if the devil send you something that is not according to the word of God, tell him you are a liar. Unfruitful. Because I have the image. I have the likeness of God. And when God is involved, the result is good result. Even though you see in the natural eyes that are bad, bad things. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28. He said for those who love God. Everything. 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 Work. For good. For those. Who are called. For those. Who are fruitful. And are called. To his purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Asante. Asante, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. You are fruitful. Utaza. And you need to continue climbing up. Na lazima uzidi kupandangazi. And you will see. Na utaona. All of the promises. Ahadi zote. That God has given to you. Ambazo mungu wa mekupatia. To come to pass. Jita kuja kutimia. I would like to make. To do a prophetic act. Ninge penda kufanya tendo lona bi. To finish. Ili nikimalizia. Maybe this will be unusual. Give me the oil, please. I want to declare 
once again because God has already declared in the past that this is a fruitful, a fertile, you know, is a blessed ministry. And I want to, as pouring oil in this house, that this is a fruitful ministry. God will produce 104. 104. 104. From now on, believe from 104. Then after this prayer, I will an operating on an anointing breakthrough of finances. Maybe it will be the first time here to see this. But I will lie. Was. Whoever brought the wallet or purse to bring it to the altar because I will declare breakthrough of finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have done this when God has instructed me to do this I have done this and I have heard many testimony about this but before that I will declare like, Father in the mighty name of Jesus I declare and decree that this is a fruitful a prosper ministry it wins and the fruitfulness of this ministry will be continue impacting this nation all the nation that you are already given to them as I pour this oil I consecrate once again and I declare your fruitfulness in the lives of the apostle in the life of bishop in the life of all pastors in the mighty name of Jesus I declare fruitfulness of God upon your life I declare fruitfulness of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus declare fruitfulness of God in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah 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 if you want I will pray briefly for the breakthrough of finances. I'm truly convinced that I will hear testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have given me this word. And the Bible said that your word that is coming out of your mouth will not come boy to you, but will, it will be prosper to whom you send it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will be praying for wallet. Purses. It will be brief just to touch in the name of Jesus. I touch in the name of Jesus for the fruit of finances. But I suffer for finances in the name of Jesus. But I suffer for finances in the name of Jesus. But I suffer for finances in the name of Jesus. But I suffer for finances in the name of Jesus. But I suffer for finances in the name of Jesus. I curse the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Let the curse prosperity in your life. In your life. In the name of Jesus. 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 Breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Abundantly. Increasingly. Increasingly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Open the gates of heaven to this family, to the ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As a prophet, I'm declaring unto your life, unto your ministry. Breakthrough. Breakthrough, visitation of God, visitation of God, breakthrough, breakthrough, in the name of Jesus, 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 one in the name of Jesus, 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 covering from heaven, from heaven, breaking all the spirit of poverty, of lacking, 
and calling upon you the spirit of prosperity in the name of Jesus Amen. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus because the blessing is coming from from the from the priest but about the fanaka sanzia tu no money Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus to the bottom in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. I bless you. Nabariki. Thank you. Asanteni. Pray for me. Asanteni nyo. I live in nyo. This evening. Nyo. But I'm living blessed. Lakini na chama. But you will say more blessed. Mungu wa I declare and I prophesy Nabangaza. the great that the things be. are coming Ahadi to this house Ahadi and this house it is sent like a... hallelujah Amen. this house Nyumba hi. is sent like a... a hallelujah like a weapon let me Ni hear kama sila. to break through Ili to restore Urejesho. nation Mataifa. life Mausima with the powerful gospel now Jesus Christ in Jili and move with Jesus Christ glory to you Lord to go for Gobana glory to you Lord to go for Gobana I declare Natangaza I decree Natangaza the Zion Church city Zion City Church is with ministry we say fruitful Muduma ya uzekusa it's a prosper ministry news Muduma ya Arusha Aparusha and Tanzania Tanzania is a prosper it in a shiwa in the mighty name of Jesus for your glory and your honor. Go to Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm sangri bwana. I'm a prophet of God again. I'm sangri bwana. Pastor Madenge come and pray for uh, for uh, for the man of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we stand up and raise up and stretch our hands here? In the name of Jesus. We are standing up on our feet and lifting our hands towards heaven in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this special vessel that you have given to us. Christ is a blessing to us. We receive him with your love. We receive the deposit of your lusciousness. The seed of God that is in Christ's life that today has been released towards us. Father, we thank you for the life of your servant. He has been true. He has been faithful to decree and to speak your word to us. We want to thank you for him. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the wisdom. We thank you for the love of Christ that dwells in this man. Father, we thank you. And now we commend you, Christ, to the grace of God. We commend you to the words of the Almighty God. That the Lord will lift you up. That the Lord will expand you. The Lord will increase your ministry. As you have been faithful, God will add more to you. Your family is blessed beyond any curse. Zaidi ya lana yote. In the name of Jesus. Your church is blessed. Your country is blessed. You will be a blessing. Everywhere you go. The Lord will use your hands. To bring freedom. To increase fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed. All the days of your life. Jesus name Amen Amen, Amen.